It's amazing how much apps have now become a major part of our lives when it comes to smartphones. Obviously iPhone uh, from Apple really kind of pioneered that whole area, but there's a lot of catch up being done by other manufacturers. We're gonna have a look at some of the new Google Android phones. Google Android is the operating system that Google came out with, it's open source, that any handset manufacturer can use. And I think uh, you're right, it's all about the apps these days. Whatever manufacturer you are out there and whatever operating system that you're running on the phone, you better have some apps for it because that's what people are buying the phones for. So these are from HTC. This is the HTC Magic and this is the HTC Dream. The major difference between these two, uh, obviously the size, you can see this one's a little bit thinner. Both have full touch screens, but this one also has the slide out keyboard. Yep, so for those folks who do like to have a keyboard and don't like texting on things like touch screens, you have the ability to have a full QWERTY keyboard on here. And again, you know, really nice for that tactile touch for typing in all your text messages and stuff like that. The nice thing about this uh, one is that it is in the landscape mode, the keyboard, so the key uh, are uh, a lot larger as well, so uh, a little easier to type than uh, using the little, uh, you know, kind of like a BlackBerry keyboard. Definitely. So what makes this a little uh, unique, I find, is just how they treat apps on it. Uh, with the iPhone, uh, very restrictive. There's certain things that you can't do when you're writing apps for iPhones. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple likes to keep a tight rein. Uh, Google a lot more open. One of them was just even kind of a settings one, it's called Locale. And uh, essentially by going into it, you can actually program when the ringer uh, goes uh, to normal ring or to silent. So for example, if you're a student, obviously you don't want your phone ringing when you're uh, in class. And a lot of phones actually have that ability. What's the big deal, right? You simply just say, hey, I'm in class, hit silent mode. Yeah, it goes on to vibrate. Well, this takes it one step further. If it knows you're near the school, like if you can actually use the GPS system to say, hey, when I'm in this area of the campus, turn my ringer off. And that's the power of this thing. So another feature here that I thought was cool uh, is a whole uh, area of augmented reality now. There's a few apps that take advantage of that. And basically what it is, is it's using your GPS location and telling you where other things are around you. An example here is Tweet World. You know, a lot of people are uh, Twittering now. This will actually, when you're holding it up, I don't know how it does this, but uh, as I'm looking around, I can actually see a lot of the people that I'm following that are tweeting mm -hmm. by their physical location. I can then um, move up there and I can see what they've tweeted. If I want to, I can also click on their head here as well and uh, it'll go right to their uh, their webpage. And the Twitter app is kind of cool, but to be honest with you, I didn't see what, how I would use it. Just because you don't tweet a lot. I'm not a big tweeter, but one that I thought was very useful was called Wikitude. It's from uh, Wikipedia. And when you click on it, you can do a couple different things. I'm gonna choose to look through the camera. And if I point the camera in these different directions, it'll actually show me different things that have wikis written about them. I can click on them and I can see the headlines, or I can even click to read the whole wiki entry. And if it's something that I'm interested in, for example, if I'm on a trip and I point in the direction of a museum, I can actually read the wiki, see if it's something that I want to go check out and start walking in that direction. Well, and again, because it's got the built-in compass and GPS, it works as you're moving the phone around, which is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Another example, traffic view. This, uh, again, ties into all the traffic cameras that are around you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So uh, here I can uh, cruise around. You can see there's a few different uh, locations. I click on one, and wow, like instantly I've got that traffic cam for that uh, particular yeah, road. Yeah, there's no traffic on that bridge, so let's go over it. <laughs> And finally, this one uh, was kind of a cool one. It was called Shop Savvy. There's a number of these barcode uh, reader ones. This is cool for shopping, and it's gonna take shopping to a whole new level over the next few years. You know, you go into a store, and you're always wondering, am I getting the right price? Yeah, and if you're like me, you always want the lowest price. What I do here is search for a product, and I put it over the barcode, and it instantly scans it once I've got it in focus. I don't have to hit any buttons or anything. And then it goes up and uh, shows me all the best prices up on the web. And because this thing is location aware because it has a built-in GPS, it'll even show me prices uh, of this particular headset uh, around my location. Yeah, so if there's a nearby retailer that has a couple bucks less, then you can actually go, if you want to, walk across the street and buy it there. Or maybe even better, go up to the store manager and say, hey, Shop Savvy says. Yeah, the uh, guy down the road uh, sells it for 10 bucks cheaper. I can imagine store owners aren't gonna be very happy with this technology. Probably not, but you know what? It's empowering us, the people, the consumer, and the more information we have, the better decision we're gonna make, and applications that you can get for your mobile devices are gonna help you do that. 
These are Google Android phones from HTC. They're the manufacturer of the actual handsets. A number of different manufacturers will be coming out with Google Android phones, so it's an operating system that's going to be growing and growing. And the apps on here, uh, you know, very uh, similar to a lot of the apps available for the iPhone, but because there's a little more flexibility, you can also get some really unique ones as well.